Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. According to recent scientific research, the Sumerian civilization may have been affected by radioactive dust thousands of years ago. This is a remarkable discovery that has the potential to change our understanding of ancient history. The Sumerians were one of the earliest civilizations in the world, living in southern Mesopotamia between 4500 and 1900 BC. They were known for their advanced irrigation systems, cuneiform writing, and impressive architecture. However, they disappeared from history without a clear explanation. Now, it is possible that the cause of their demise was exposure to radioactive materials. The discovery of high levels of radiation in the skeletons found in Harappa and Mohenjo-daro, both located in present-day Pakistan, is a significant indication that there was a large-scale nuclear disaster in the region. The bodies of the people found at these sites were buried under a thick layer of earth, which suggests that they died suddenly and violently. The radiation levels in the skeletons are extraordinarily high, about 50 times higher than what is considered normal. These levels are comparable to those found in the aftermath of the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. The fact that the radiation is still detectable after thousands of years indicates that the exposure was significant and long-lasting. The theory is that the Sumerians were involved in some form of nuclear activity that went awry. The fact that the radiation levels are highest in the areas surrounding the Ganges region and the Rajmahal Mountains, located more than 1,000 kilometers away from Harappa and Mohenjo-daro, suggests that the radioactive dust was widespread and affected a large area. The remains of the people found in these regions show evidence of exposure to intense temperatures, which could be an indication of a nuclear explosion. If the Sumerians were indeed affected by a nuclear disaster, it raises many questions about the ancient world. Was there an advanced civilization that had knowledge of nuclear technology? If so, how did they acquire it? And why did they use it, knowing the dangers it posed? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. By 1901, it was already a rarity, but the camera still remembers the giants that walked the earth not so long ago. We can see for ourselves that this video clip shows an activity of a community that might be lining up for something or doing something else that is unclear. Don't you find it strange that a giant is walking among those people so casually and they even seem accustomed to seeing it walking in the middle of the crowd? This clearly shows that giants were not unusual creatures in that era. This video clip raises many questions about the existence of giants in ancient times. Were they a common sight in those days? If so, how did people react to them? Did they have any significance in the society of the time, or were they simply an accepted part of everyday life? Many cultures around the world have stories of giants who lived in the distant past, often portrayed as powerful and fearsome beings. Some independent historians and researchers have suggested that there is evidence to support this theory, pointing to giant bones, ancient texts and artifacts that depict larger-than-life figures. One thing is clear. The existence of giants in ancient times would have had a profound impact on the course of history. The important question that remains is, why weren't they recognized by official history, given so much evidence that was all over the place? What do you think?
The concept of melted cities of the past is a topic that raises many questions and mysteries about the nature of ancient civilizations. When we examine some of the structures that have been discovered, we can see evidence of something that appears to have melted them away. The question is, what could have caused this? I have examined many of these structures much closer and in depth, and from what I can tell you is, to me, it all looks like it has been hit by some sort of energy weapon or bomb, which resulted in stone and structures being melted away. When we look at some of the descriptions of ancient weapons of mass destruction that are found in texts like the Indian Vedas, it's easy to see why I have come to this conclusion. The poetic descriptions of weapons that blossomed like a flower and turned birds into ash instantly are reminiscent of what we might expect from a nuclear or atomic explosion. It's hard to imagine what else could cause such destruction on such a large scale. Of course, this raises many questions about the nature of ancient warfare. Were there really weapons of mass destruction that were used in the past? If so, who had access to them and how were they used? Another question that arises from this discussion is, what could possibly melt granite rocks in ancient times? If we were supposedly pulling carts with horses at that time, as some historians suggest, how could we explain the level of technology that would be required to create weapons capable of such destruction? Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.